How's it going, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Link's Awakening. So, in our last video, we got all the five golden leaves, and we're gonna go and talk to that Richard dude again. And I think he might go to that text again, because I had to re-go through the game again. Re-go. Redo the whole game again. At a certain point anyway, and I had to get all my stuff again. I think it's pretty accurate to what it was. So, uh... Let's see here. Yeah, he's just gonna say the same stupid crap. Okay, here we go. Then we'll have this... Weird little stairway come up when we push this box. So let's go down it. And I believe there's a, uh... Chest? Yeah, there is. And this is another... Secret Seashell! How many do we have of those? I might not have the same amount as I had before, because I didn't get that bonus one when I went through it again. Oh, well. Trust me, you don't have a problem getting these, if you know where most of them are. Because the game does say you need just 20, but there is more than 20. I think there's like 23 or something like that. I can't quite remember. Now this area is kind of, uh, weird. There's a... See, what we have to do is get up there where that owl statue thing is. But, uh, the catch is not falling down these holes when we cut down the grass. And, uh, usually I just make a bunch of daring, stupid, bold moves that I shouldn't make. Like this. Because in this game, you can just cut the grass even though you're in the air, damn it. And that's another problem, is it comes back again. Actually, that might help me a little bit. Yeah, this is what I do, basically. It's just, I don't have the patience to find the, the right path. I don't even know if there is a right path. You might have to jump. But the reason why we're here is because there's something that we need, and that's this thingy. The slime key. So I don't know if I want to just cut back or... Cut back. I, I sound like I have, like, a smoking problem or something. Yeah, I need to cut back. I'm smoking a little too much. It's affecting my health. My word usage is very weird today, <laughs> apparently. Let's see if I can make this jump. Uh, yeah, there we go. That saved me a lot of time. I guess I won't cut then. Um, yeah, so we have the slime key. And uh, that's pretty much all we need to get to the next dungeon. It's not really hard to find the dungeon either. What do you have to say? Oh, okay. You're very welcome. So to get to this new area, the uh, the next dungeon, um, I think you go this way. Or is it the other way around? No, we gotta unlock it. This is how you get into the dungeon. This is the dungeon here, but we need to go some other way to go unlock it. Which shouldn't be too hard. There's a seashell over there, but I can't get it just yet. I need something else. Let's kill these guys, and, uh... There's another seashell, even though a rupee's covering it. Now that 
freaking yeah. Yeah, see, it's not so bad. Just go around, and then there you are. This dungeon's kind of, uh, I don't know. <sighs> They're bit no. For some reason, I thought there was, like, a dead end there. But this dungeon, um, I don't know what to really say about it. It's just a dungeon, pretty much. It's kind of confusing sometimes, but it's not too bad. It's kind of cool, actually. I should really stop saying that word, actually, because in that other video, I said it way too many goddamn times. There was some YouTube channel that made fun of Josh Jepson for that. Which was very funny, actually. You can die. Now, these guys, you have to be careful, because they'll bounce around like that. What's in here? It's a key! Yay! Now those, we need another item to get through those. That's a great way to block those, is, uh, just hold your sword out. Ouch. I guess not. There's a dummy chest. I think that's the only time you see that in the game. That we can't get, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. There's actually a... See, I did it again. Don't say actually. There's a chest here, but I can't get it, because I need to kill that dude over there. Um... I'm not gonna grab that, whatever. I'm a man. I can handle it. Ouch. Damn it. Now, uh, what door do I go through? Hmm. I'm gonna go through this one. Now we get to meet one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Oh, boy, do I love killing these guys. See, they're annoying because if you get too close to them, they'll do that. Yeah, very fun. There we go. Luckily, that spin move, you know, hits them while you're still in the air. Because you don't get very lucky. I don't know what I'm saying right now. All right, because in, in 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 ages you don't. It doesn't work, as I said. My brain just went like, uh, what? Just for a second there. Oh, we don't have the beak thingy yet. Um, we could hit that because that unlocks some things. We got a key. Oh, these guys get so annoying. Right. There we go. I fell, but whatever. Now, I remember as a kid, I think I got, like, screwed in this room. But I don't know how you could. But I just have some weird memory of just not being able to progress in the game, because I opened the wrong door. But all the doors have keys except this one, and that leads to other rooms with other keys, so... I was dumb as a kid, I guess. Oh, there's a chest here. That's the beak. It's probably just some stupid hint anyway that I don't need.
Now I hit that thing over there, the the uh, crystal ball because of this room. And I believe this is the map. Not entirely sure. I'm not grabbing that because I don't feel like going through the dialogue. But then again, I have three hearts. Maybe I should. <laughs> Please, ah, uh, figures. I was hoping he would drop a heart, but I guess not. He's not going to do that. Wait, I do have a key, right? Yeah, okay. Kill that guy, he dropped a heart, nice. This room also has a key if you kill the enemies. And for some reason, I didn't know that the first time around. I guess I missed one or something, and it... I don't know. Now this is a, um, a kind of weird area. Well, it's not weird, it's just... I don't know, you need a lot of keys in this little spot here to get to those stairs. These guys have got to go. Um, do we have enough bombs? See, this is why I wanted the bomb upgrade, because of this. These guys. Now, in order to kill them, I actually don't know the name of them, but in order to kill them, you just throw bombs in their mouths. Shit. Threw it a little too quickly there. Shit. Yeah, I suck. It's kind of wise I got those bombs. I used to be really good at killing these things, too. Come on, we can do this. There we go. You can also place them too, but I prefer to just throw them so I avoid taking damage. But you can place them too and, and get them to just run into it and then swallow it, but I don't know. Again, I don't like that. And there you go, that's the mini boss. Not too hard as long as you have enough bombs. And, uh,. And this chest here is a very useful item, the Pegasus Boots. Now, remember these stupid things? Well, now we can get past them. And you do that by just dashing into them, and yeah. <laughs> now, what else do we need to do? I could go in that other room and get that other chest, but I think it's just rupees. Let's just do it, just so I don't forget about it. Damn it. These things are also very useful for killing these, uh, enemies. The, the ones there, the teleporty ones. Can you stop hitting me, you dumb keys? Um... That was easy. Let's grab that rupee. That was pretty cool. <laughs> now let's kill that other guy. <coughs> oh, jeez. He's dead. Is there anything up now? So now we can get that other chest that I couldn't get. go, and 200 rupees. You're ecstatic. Wow. I thought it was 50 rupees for some reason. If you are going through this game, though, you're going to need a lot of rupees eventually. Because that bow and arrow is... I think it's required 
to beat a certain boss, so you want to get it. You can't bust those? That's stupid. I thought you could dash into those and break them. Yeah, figures. You, like, you can bust some super hard crystal thing, but I can't bust a pot. That makes sense. Wait a minute. There we go. You're dead. You're dead. This thing makes things so much easier in terms of killing those guys. Seriously. There we go. Um... Nothing in there. Oh, wait, there's a chest there. I believe that's a compass. Uh, I want to hit this guy. Eh, who cares? Wow, he will not explode if you keep hitting him. I did not know that. What's the, the hint in the dungeon? To defeat the black monster with the hard shell, feed him something explosive. Well, that's stupid, didn't I just... <laughs> Thanks for telling me that when... You know, I couldn't get up here. Or, well, no, technically I could have. So never mind. 50 rupees. Very nice! I thought that was the compass. I guess not. Or do I have the compass already? No, I think the compass is somewhere else that I'm thinking of. There's another room there that I have to go into. Kind of not liking my commentary for some reason. I don't know. This might be one of those videos I just redo because I'm not entirely happy with it, but we'll see. I guess I could unlock these and kind of get up here a little bit. Yeah, you just need a bunch of keys for, like, literally no reason. One, two, three, four. Four keys, I believe. Yeah, I should. I really should. Now, there's another room that I totally forgot about. <coughs> and it requires very weird maneuvering to get the chest here. What you have to do is... I should kill these guys first. Is you have to dash with the Pegasus boots and then jump with the Rock's Feather in order to make that jump. This is weird. You can never do this right. There we go. Not used to that at all. <laughs> And that is the Nightmare's Key. Sweet. So, um... Yeah, you're dead, I think. Or he just disappeared, I don't know. This is kind of pointless to blow up, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because that just leads to that room. Now, I'm hoping if I lift these, there's some health here. Yeah, there is. See, they knew. Like, you you were going to try to make that jump. And you were going to have no health. So they were nice enough to do that. These guys get really annoying. I just don't feel like waiting for them to explode. It's like, what the hey, man. Okay, uh, there we go. There's the compass. 
No, that other room I'm thinking of, that's where a key is, I believe. Ah, uh, I'm... I'm not gonna grab that, screw it. There's a key that I had such a problem with my first time around getting. Because I didn't make the wall obvious to bomb. Like, you had to be really clever to think to bomb it on the other side, even though there wasn't any cracks there. Oh, god damn it. I might cut this out. Well, maybe not. I keep forgetting... Or, well, I forgot that you could just, you know, hit them all at once to save yourself time. Duh. <laughs> I believe, minus that one room that I'm thinking of, we're pretty much done here, I think. I want to go to that room. You know, go down the stairs, maybe, Link. That would be kind of cool. There we go. Okay, now that room. Let's put these on. There's a room, like, right in the entrance. You're really gonna make me kill these guys. It's not a big deal, but... I'm gonna feel like an idiot if that room's not there. Yeah, it is there. There's a room here that drops something, or has something. And you can only get it if you have these boots. What is it? It's a key. Now, there's something weird about this dungeon. Whenever I get done with it, I always have a key left, and I don't know where to use it. Makes me think there's some hidden room or something that I don't know about. Or maybe it was just an, an error when they were pro when they were making the game. So there's those stairs. Um, I think you need the Pegasus boots, but I'm willing to take a little damage to save time. Well, that's not a little damage. <laughs> but there's a heart there, so it doesn't matter. That's why I always do that. Let's see here. Oh, shut up, Link. No one cares. And you're dead. I gotta grab that because I don't want to die. I guess I don't have that leftover key. Maybe I'm just an idiot or something. I don't know. No, yeah, there it is. See, I, like, I always have a key left, and yet I went through all the rooms. So why do they give you that key? That's just really weird to me. 